All right, guys, what is up? It is Gnomes. I'm here in a game, the, uh, the almost semifinals. I think we're in the quarterfinals right now of the tournament match. Going to be Elves Rules versus myself. Um, he is playing UD Rogues, and I'm playing the IS Flyers. I did get first turn. Very good for me. Um, I also got the Beer Maiden. So we can go... Uh, Cerulean, Beer Maiden. He's going to be playing a lot of rogues. Kind of like Houndmaster early. So I, I did add in some detection. He's playing UD rogues, like I said. So he's going to have a lot of stealth. So we added quite a bit of detection. We have the Guard Tower, which has detection. The Houndmaster has detection. We added one unobstructed view. And we added one more Amethyst Wing with static greeting. So now we have about five to six forms of detection. So should be able to stop that as well as we took it out some range champions for some more melee beaters so all pretty good now we don't want to play the handler um how is okay can we ever go how master beer maiden is that ever good i don't think we get the second deploy because we're first turn right because it's this right because it'll be this deploy then we're at 76 let me see. Uh, let's go get it. So 76 minus 66 plus um, 45. Is that 55? So I wouldn't be able to deploy the Cerulean Wing. So it's... Hmm. Hard choice. We'll do it like this. We'll do it like this because this gets the good brew going early and we'll get the Houndmaster out in like a turn or two. We don't need it out super early, I don't think. We should still be fine. I think, I don't know. We got first turn, so we don't have to be scared. I got first turn, so I don't think we need to be super like uh extremely defensive we can be a bit more into the late game with our beer maiden because now what we can do is play beer maiden here next and this is seven speed that actually allows me to get the brew if you want okay so he plays the hook fiend we knew that oh shit ah oh, man i could have actually played something that would have fucked her if it were i think i could have played a rel an equipment oh well so we go Beer Maiden now, kind of always. Do we always go Beer Maiden? We could also just go Houndmaster into move into here into deploy the the dog. Or do we Beer Maiden move up? We don't have to move up all the way because we regen anyway, so we don't care about the UD font, right? And this gives me the AP gain with Invigorate once my other champs come out. Like, we don't care about the Invig here. Or about getting into the Fawn, I mean. Like, we don't care about taking the, the partial damage from the Hook Fiend. So we'll just stay like this. Because we, we regen with the D Beer Maiden who's going to get into here. So even if he goes here now, which, exactly. So even if he goes into here now, we can just get into the next turn. We need to keep our, um, ooh, two important things here is actually one, to turn on our music, or um, our sound, our effects, especially against stealth. Um, and then obviously to keep the bat combat log up. So now we need to play the Imp Jester, Combat Awareness, Chuck, Cackle, okay, not too bad. Yeah, and we can just do this, like I said. And we don't care too much at all about this. Um... And now he is playing champions that aren't like they don't they don't stealth right. So we don't actually have to uh, deploy any like non stealths. We want to play again something that can like counter the uh, imp obviously or these normal champions here. So we'll just play like Obsidian Wing. We do have that Might of Iron Fist out. So we'll play the Obsidian Wing, and then like Wings of Glory move in kill. 
Arsonist, yeah, okay. And we have an Invig play potentially coming up. We have the Might. We have Blitz. He has Chuck, obviously, which would stall me a bit. But if he stays too close, we could kill the Imp Jester soon. So he would move. Let's see. Let's count this. So he's already at 17. So that's the, the, uh, the most you would get here, right? Because you get plus 5 tops. So that'd be 17 with might, he'd be at 22, and then pummel would be 44 damage. So we actually would need two damage. So with war banner, we'd actually get a perfect kill in the Jester with a might of iron fist. At least on the imp jester, that is. We have to be afraid of the horrific aura, but we can just keep deploying champions now. I think our champion should be a tiny bit bigger than him, right? We have the uh, bruise coming in. So if we keep deploying and kind of play like a good defensive, we should be fine. He can chuck here, but we can also just kill it and then deploy. We have the shatter out. We have cleanse coming up in one turn with that as well. Uh, Prismatic wing isn't horrible next turn. Hunt master is not, or maybe like even just play handler next turn because it's cheap and it gives us that extra HP. One, two, three, four, five. Back and forth, okay. Like I said, hmm. I mean, with might we get this kill. Yeah, we get the kill. But then, like, how's the return kill from him, right? So we can maybe kill this imp jester, but what comes afterwards is my question. What if we do a um, a, a, a wings of glory instead? Because then he also attacks. So then it would be... 40 versus 40... It would be then, let's see, 14, 15, 16. That'd be 16 plus 14. Let's see, 16 plus 14 plus maybe 14, 15, 16 plus 16 is 46. It's actually a perfect kill with the Wings of Glory. 30, 40. So we can Wings of Glory attack at the Norglobe. Perfect kill here. Perfect kill. Actually, it's a bit off, a bit over. Alright, get the kill, play the Earthshaker. So we get the kill, get the Noral Globe, and uh, we got the Earthshaker to move him back a little bit so the Solar Flare doesn't must mess us up too much. Obviously what can mess up, up us up a little bit here is like the Grappling Hook with the Horrific Aura. We actually had a bit over the kill, I saw. I thought we didn't have that much damage. We had 19, 17, 16, which is interesting. Um, but next turn we have the Carouse up. So I thought this play was okay. We got the relic down, which is not bad, and we got some of his damage rid of his damage. Um, so we got the relic down, which like makes it awkward for him now. Like he can kill this relic. Uh, he doesn't kill my champions. We can play a carouse and then like a miter of Infras and a kill. Obviously, we can't really kill the hook fiend because we don't know if horrific aura is up, but we can maybe we can pretty easily generally kill the arsonist a lot of the time. But we can also just deploy, right? We can also just deploy maybe something like that. All right, plays the fire maw. 
Fire Maw is kind of scary. Does have that resistance physical. Is a, a wizard dragon. So this is a, a flex pick here. I'm not sure why. We could look at maybe like at a kill on this arsonist because once the arsonist is dead as well, I'm not sure if he has that much killing power anymore or that much danger if he's not that he's not that scary anymore. But we can also just go for late game. We have a bit of a lead now. He killed my relic, so we played. Let's see, forty. We played seventy five Nora, but we got the Nora globe right, and then he we killed a seventy four Nora champion. Um, so we got a, a tiny tiny lead there, right? But we can't deploy after, so it's not worth it ever, is it? No, it's not ever worth it. I was thinking about like an instill panic play to get him into that bottom font, but we don't get the uh, the deploy. If we could deploy plus that, it'd be good, but otherwise it's not. Hellmaster. I mean, we know he's not playing any stealth anymore. Um, resist something against physical damage is pretty good. Cerulean wing, maybe, or prismatic wing, I mean. We have the Bane Blast up as well. It gives me Divert, also not bad. We can play something cheaper, like a Scarlet Wing, just so we have some ranged. But this, I think this is good also because it helps against the... Oh no, it's a hard choice. I kind of want Boost out as well. We'll get Boost out next turn, maybe. We can just retreat here. Retreat, go in another turn. Go in like next turn we when we have Invig up. All right, should be fine. We're in the font. <laughs> We're pretty far away. Like he only gets eight AP this turn. So he can like grappling hook attack, but like next, like if he, well, what I'm thinking is he might like go for my beer maiden, but then we can move in. We have everything close. We have another wings of glory. That was another idea too. Like, do I want to play a support here? It, I'm against UD. You don't really want to do that. I want to play something with like something that counters the resistance physical, and that's what he does, right? He has that lightning skewer, which will help with the bane blast as well as help through the her like it'll get through herpic herpic aura, and I kind of want to play next turn when I have the invigorate. Alright, so he plays the Ember Wasp here somewhere. Doesn't matter too much to us though. We could do like a sick play with like instill into cleanse into lightning skewer into bane blast, but that would be obviously a very bad play. But like if he doesn't expect it, because we know the Ember Wasp is here always, right? That would hit all three of them. Um that'd be really cool if we could do it. But we would need him let's see how many spaces? Is this six spaces? He would need to be here, and then it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he has to be here. Does that even like work with Invig? Oh no, we equipped this last turn, so we we would need the equipment as well. Okay, it's never worth it. <laughs> oh, the idea is fun, but it would never work. Right, we have to kind of. We don't know when this is up, which is kind of sucky. Amber Wasp is always scary, but we do have the uh, guard tower for detection we have the uh unobstructed view for detection we don't have to play the unobstructed view this turn though we can just play it in like two turns and maybe we can catch out the ember wasp and we'll just retreat we're gonna play i'm thinking about playing the handler next turn that gives us another 10 hp on our champions we have a good you know three champions right now i kind of i mean i can get a kill pretty easily with like a grappling hook execute but i can never know when exactly when this horrific aura is up you know all right there's the single uh, singular attack very interesting movement to move in like this right he could also be here the ember wasp could be down here too which is interesting um, but then maybe we play Scarlet Wing. So it's either play Scarlet Wing and then 
Can we kill this? But then he's there, and we don't know if the Ember Wasp is down here. And this is tech magical, so. We could kill this. We could attack this, grappling hook out. Do we just deploy and then just kill this next turn? Deploy, kill this next turn? So many choices here, because we could get to this font if we wanted to, and then we take it. We just go here, attack once. I mean, if the Hervic Aura is up, though, that messes up everything. All right, let's just attack no matter what to check. All right, so we check just for sure. And then we're just going to do this now. I really don't want a Hervic Aura, though. I'm so tanky, I don't need to run away. I don't need to run away, I think. We can run away with the Beer Maiden a bit. Like, I don't have, think I have to be afraid with my Obsidian Wing too much. We can just leave the Obsidian Wing in. Just because we do have Tough One. He's very tanky. He's quite hard to kill. It's such a hard play, though, here. Like, I don't... I, I was, like, thinking of... I don't know if I have to attack. He could be, like, mind gaming that he doesn't have a Horrific Aura up. Um, on the other hand, and I was thinking like, I could retreat here again, but he is tanky and I can just like, I could have like, uh, use a grappling hook to move here, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to use it on, like, I might use it later, you know, and I think this is fine. We get another 10 HP. Uh, we're now very, very tanky. We have lightning skewer bane blast as a play. We have the unobstructed view. We have a cerulean wing. We have a lot of champions. He's at four versus my five. Um, so, and he has to have a good play here, right? And like, what's his play gonna be? Is he gonna kill my beer maiden, which is a support? Like this fire maw is kind of the, the main danger generally, but he doesn't have, I mean, he has the lava storm, but I, I'm out of like lava storm positioning. So that's not too scary. So like next turn we can kill these two and then unobstructed view maybe, unobstructed view until I can still. Like we, what we're a bit afraid of is really just the Ember Wasp play, right? Ember Wasp into some type of really good AoE. That's what I'm most afraid of, I think. Um, but I think I can obviously counter that with like an unobstructed view or something, or like a, maybe a good guard tower to find him. He has to be around here maybe sometime, right? Like we don't know if he deployed here or here, but this is his let's see, it's second turn. It's, a, it's hard to play against stealth sometimes, but yeah. We're not, he's, okay, there's the, a bit weird. Ah, for the vulnerability. But he's not, okay, plus that, wow. This is fun. <clears throat> fun. Does he even have the kill here? He has aura? Is this aura? No, it's not an aura. So no kill here. No kill. Because of the regen. <laughs> we just kill both of these, obviously. No, I want to go this way because I don't know if the. Let's just do this just in case. Let's just find him. Alright, so he's down there. <gasps> I don't have the Bane Blast anymore. Oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> ah, whatever. I still get both kills though, right? I still think I get both kills. I hope. What was that?
and solar flare is not so good so i don't i want the nora globe but we misplayed that because we could have had the bane blast into a kill we could have bane blast into a kill ah oh, that was so sad i didn't check my nora um, but I could have Bane Blast into a kill, but we messed that up. The reason I use the instill here is because I don't want him to Lava Storm onto the Ember Wasp. Um, yeah, this was a bad play by me, a very bad play. He's dead too. Oh, no. I actually moved him out of the, um, the Regal Presence range as well. He's can, he can now just Sacrifice here if he wants. I don't think we've lost it yet, but this was a this is a definitely a like he misplayed and then into my misplay right just because of that bad bane blast or else they would have both been dead here. We can maybe move into that bottom font next turn though, and we get both Nora globes unless he can you know he can sacrifice but we should get both Nora globes. I also didn't use the divert. There's a sacrifice, um, but that should yeah we should get both Nora globes. Uh, we're gonna go for this Ember Wasp. We can like might kill if we want it. Evasive. We have drive. Right. Alright. 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 Right. Carouse. We can get into the bottom font too. If I carouse though, I can't. Ha! <laughs> At least not with the relic. Oh, with drive. With drive. Drive retreat. Attack once. An aura globe, drive one two three four. We get the font. We just get the font retreat, right? Drive, get the font. We only attacked for this reflexes and stuff. We're in the font now. We put the divert up. The flame nova isn't hitting them. I kind of want to move into here, but that makes the uh, other stuff bad. So now we have his font. It's three champions versus five. We're doing good. Or we're doing fine at least. Have divert up, like I said. I mean, he has immune fire, so it actually doesn't deal damage to himself. But yeah, at least we don't take the damage, right? And now that we have his font, we can we can start just deploying and should be winning. We we kind of misplayed this thought wise as well because we're playing so many supports here, right? We're playing Beer Maiden as well as Handler. One of the main things we really have to just be afraid of is this like combo here. But I think at this point we can just see, start deploying now, and we should be okay. We deploy like the obsidian wing here with a carouse and invig and then to like a kill here somehow i don't know we have to be afraid of this distract getting off but it's okay i think at this point we're fine we shouldn't have too many very big things here that we're too afraid of just gonna deploy this we could have thought about of uh, one other play here, but <sighs> should be okay here now. We can like battle drum, but that actually doesn't even get like do anything here as a kill, does it? Actually, let's see seven. No, because I I if I move here with my cerulean wing, then he gets to my top font. Just double tap here and then like block off. No, blocking off is bad, right? Go here, drive, move here. But then he has a double tap next turn, right? Yeah, he does if I go there. It's like a compulsion. So we'll just do that. And then we'll just drive, drive, and then We 
mean, that kind of sucks. We can actually maybe just go for him a little bit more. And then now what we can also start doing is looking for a, a kill on a shrine with like a swoop play. If we get them all like into the middle font area, we can just look for a kill on a shrine now that he has such low HP. This gives me 5 HP on both champs, so it's good to move there. Yeah, and I think we're doing okay now. There you go. GG. So yeah, good first game. Um... I don't know, his champions are just not strong, right? Like, he moved, he had a weird move in. He moved in with his Hook Fiend, and then I found that weird, and then, like, he had a weird misplay with his move in, and he didn't get the kill, but then I also didn't get a kill, so I misplayed, he misplayed, and then we both fucked up, but my fuck up wasn't as bad. I don't know. And then my battle group was just better, I think. I mean, I think just UD rogues are just not very good. Like, you saw the champions he was deploying, right? Like, I 100% think Elves Rule is, like, a good tier or two, like, above me in skill, but I think this battle group just didn't work out for him. GG.